Basic Anatomy of Dog or Dog's Parts of Body You Should Know You may be familiar to some parts of dog's body like tongue, tail, legs, ears, eyes, and nose. But others might be surprising for you. So let's start from the head. Muzzle. It is the projecting part of face. Muzzle includes upper and lower jaws. It is also called foreface. The size and shape of muzzle varies greatly in different breeds. Flu. The flu is another name for dog's lips. It includes the skin that hangs down over the muzzle. It's the skin flapping in breeze when our dog's heads are out the windows of our cars. Whiskers. Whiskers or vibrissae are long coarse hairs projecting from dog's muzzle, jaw and above its eyes. Stop. The indentation between the muzzle and brain case is stop. It is present in almost all dogs. Oh, sorry. In some breeds, it is less prominent and in some non-existent, like bull terrier dog. Dewlap Dewlap is a flap of skin below lower jaw. Occiput Occiput is the highest part of skull at the back of head. It is prominent in some dog breeds. Leather Can you guess what is leather? Ears are also known as leather. Roof A circular frill or ruffle on a garment for us, but for dogs, thick, dense hair around the top of neck. Nape The nape of neck is where the neck joins the base of skull in the back of head. Crest. The crest starts at the nape and ends at feathers. Feathers. Feathers is a ridge between shoulder blades of dog. Feathers are top point of shoulders. It is the tallest point of body and standard place to measure animal's height. Prosternum. Prosternum is a top of sternum that can be seen as projection at upper center of rib cage in fore chest. Brisket. The keel, brisket or sternum is the lower curve outline of chest or rib cage. Shoulder is right here. And chest is right here. And this portion is back. Loin. Loin is the back between the end of rib cage and the beginning of pelvic bone. Flank. The flank refers to the side of dog between the end of chest and rear leg. Crop or rump Crop or rump is a portion of posterior dorsum that is posterior to loin and anterior to tail. Anatomically, the rump corresponds to sacrum. The tail head or dog is the beginning of tail. Tail set The point at which tail comes out of dog's body. And tail is right here. Upper arm. The upper arm is right below shoulder and consists of humerus bone. Elbow joint. Forearm. The forearm starts from the elbow joint and ends at wrist joint. The wrist joint 
or carpus is the joint below elbow. Pastrans. Pastrans are equivalent to bones in your hands and feet, not counting fingers and toes. Front pastrans is right here. Upper thigh is the part of dog's leg located above knee on the hind limb. Stifle. Stifle is dog's knee. It is complex joint in hind limb of quadrupeds. Lower thigh. Lower thigh is a part of hind limb beneath the knee to the hock. Hock. From Old English heel, the joint located on dog's back leg below stifle. Rear pastrans is right here. Teucla. Teucla are vestiges of thumbs in dogs. Forefoot or paw. Hind foot or paw. Hands up. So, paw pairs are right here.